What's up, man? We back with another video. I want to tell you something so much, so, so important to men. Let me make sure, let me make sure of something real quick. Stop being humble. Stop being so humble as a man. Stop being so humble. Stop being so reserved about your accomplishments. Let the world know. Let the world know what you did, man. Stop being so humble. Why is society keep, why is society trying to tell men to be humble, regardless of how much you've accomplished? LeBron James say he the best player in the world. Be humble. Be humble. Why he so why he so cocky? Why he so arrogant? Do you understand the work it takes to get to the NBA and be the best player in the NBA full of demigods, full of 400 of the best players in the world to be the best player out of all 400 of them? And now that's arrogance? That's arrogance. Think of all the work he put in to be to that level. It's arrogance. Arrogant. I wish somebody would call me arrogant after I worked my whole life to get to a point. I wish somebody would call me arrogant. No, you're just mad that you ain't nothing. Stop. Just like when you when you get to the top, women would try to be like, he ain't nothing. He, you ain't all that. You, you, and, your, you and your little YouTube channel. You and your little YouTube. Little. Little, little. Well, if you don't humble, well, if you don't, mm. little, you ain't. I ain't know that. Are you serious? You try so hard. You try so hard tonight. They do everything but give you the credit for what you done did as a man. They do everything but give you the credit. Everything. A woman, bro, a woman kicked in a male bat college game and that got coverage. She kicked a field, she kicked an extra point in a college football game and they gave her, bro, that got news coverage. She won player of the week. What's, the, what's her name? Sarah, whatever, Sarah Fuller? Yes, she kicked an extra point. And they gave her player of the week because she's just because she's a woman. They gave her player of the week, the courage. She made history. Are you serious? The, 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 the little effort just existing. They, they, they like women are praised for just existing. I, I, I swear. Shout out to the women who really working. I appreciate shout out to the women who really working on themselves. And grinding, not these women who be who be on IG just existing, bro. Just I'm gonna just use what I have, cause I don't have any tangible skills. I have no tangible skills. I have no skills. I don't know how to make any money. I don't want to work a job, cause I'm too good for that. I'm too good to work a job. Shout out to the women who are grinding. Shout out to the women who work and grinding to be their best selves too. Shout out to them. Don't, don't bro. We're not praising these OnlyFans. Instagram thotties? We're not giving them no clout. What? That's not talent. That's not talent. That's not skill. That's not drive and determination. Well, I worked hard on my career. You literally took a camera and snapped your butt. That's not hard work. It's not hard work. We work hard on OnlyFans. We work hard. We work hard to get the subscribers we do. Get the freak out. You work hard. You you supposed to value yourself as a woman, but you pricing yourself at twenty dollars a month. That's your price. Twenty dollars a month. You you just putting a price tag on your body. Think about that. You put a price tag on your body and they call that empowerment. Are you serious? They call it freedom. They call it freedom. Are you serious? You put a price tag on your body. You put a price tag on something that should really only be shared, shared with your husband or your boyfriend. And then you wonder why people don't respect you. Oh, why don't people respect me? Well, why are people looking at me like this? Why do they only want me for my body? 
Do you not see what the image you're putting out already? You're already putting out the image that I'm just, I'm free. I'm for everybody. I don't care. I'll show my goods to anybody for a price. Just think about it. Just think about that whole thing. Just think about the whole segment. But a, can a man do that? No. A man, a man will not succeed on OnlyFans unless he already has a following. Or he just don't want to do Patreon. That's the only way you're going to succeed as a man on that app. Unless you, you already have a following that you can guide on there. Literally, all you got to do is, you can just, as short as you can just start up an IG account and just say, I got, I got an OnlyFans. And then, boom, sips. Sips. Stop, t stop, stop being humble. Stop, stop, t don't let society tell you to be humble. Society, society is already trying to condition you to be a beta male anyway. Stop. Be humble. Stop being humble. Be arrogant. Be cocky. I don't care. Yes. Be cocky. Pop your ish. Pop your ish. Talk. Talk. Let, let, let the world know. Be arrogant. Be self-centered. Yes, I'm telling you to be self-centered. No, not, 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 not to the point. Not extreme. Not extreme. But be self-centered. Be confident in yourself, man. Let people know who you, let people know that you are that. You keep being humble if you want. You keep sitting in the shadows and just being, huh, yeah, that ain't nothing. Yeah, you keep doing that. You're going to get overlooked. <laughs> people, oh, he's just chilling. Hmm. You, people will try to take advantage of you for being humble, bro. They try to take advantage of you for being, being humble, bro. Stop being humble. Pop your stuff. Let the world know what you got going on, bro. And the crazy thing is, we supposed to be humble and we can't have standards as men. We not supposed to have no standards because apparently we just smash anything underneath the sun. But we, we can't have standards as men though. We, we not allowed to have standards. We, we gotta, we gotta take, we, we, if we say we want a certain type of women, why are you objectifying me? Why are you body shaming me? You're a misogynist for having a standard of women that I want. But I'm supposed to take you, I'm supposed to take you as you are. With all you with all of your problems, with your with your roller coaster emotions in the extremes, with your kids, with your bad money management, I'm supposed to just take you as you are. I'm not supposed to complain. I'm supposed to just let you be. Oh my gosh, if, what? If I if I tell you that sh if I tell you I don't like the shirt you got on you're gonna get you're gonna be mad for the whole rest of the day. I can't have standards, but 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 I have to work myself up to a point to qualify for a woman. It should be the uh, it's the other way around. The woman should qualify for me. Why am I qualifying for a woman? When you qualify for something, that usually means it gives you benefits. Better than it gives you benefits that you wouldn't have had if you didn't have what you're qualifying for. What, what are you really bringing to the table, ma'am, that makes me have to qualify for you? What are you really bringing? I don't qualify. I don't need to qualify for women. I will automatically know if you're right for me. I can see what you do. I don't listen to what you say. I don't listen to what you say. I see what you do. Because you can't, you can't take everyone's word for face value. You have to see what their actions line up. Just because you tell me something don't mean you're going to do it. I listen. I see what you do. I see the actions you take. I see that you're actively pursuing me. I see that you want to do things for me. I see that you want to make, you want to please me. See that you are open to suggestion. Oh, okay, I'm gonna take her serious. Thank you. I'm not qualifying for a woman. I don't need to qualify for a woman. I, if I if I'm working for ten years to get myself to a six figure earner, you know, and I gotta qualify for a woman who's making thirty k, 
Are you serious? I don't need to qualify for nobody. I am, I am the prize. I am the prize. Men, you are the prize. Remember that. Remember that, man. You are the prize. Remember, you keep working, working your way up. The women come to you because they see it. That's pride, that you're the prize. Stop chasing women. Let the women come to you. Stop chasing the women. Stop chasing them. They'll chase you once you once you get to that. But but the crit, you gotta get to a point though. That's the wild part of being a man. You gotta get to the you gotta get to a certain point for the women to chase you. That's the wild part. That's the really wild part. You can't just exist and men automatically just come to you. Like like women do. Women just literally exist and it's men there. I guarantee you every woman watching this video, if you're not in a committed relationship, you have at least five dudes that want your attention from a day to day basis and you just feed them a little pieces of attention. You just feed them a little bit of pieces, make them think they make them think they got a chance with you, then you whoop, pull back. Let me just feed this guy. Whoop, pull back. You got about five dudes right now. Probably that's that's minimum. That's a, that's on the low end. You got about five, six, seven dudes that you getting attention from. Whoop, pull back. Whoop, I like him. Nope, no, no. Mm, pull back. He's too clingy. Pull back. Mm, he's ugly. Pull back. But it's it's it's, 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 it's attention. It's attention. It just give you attention, and you feed off it. You feed off it. Men, we got we 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 work. We gonna we gonna have to when we get to that point, we work too hard to be humble. Stop being humble. Stop being humble. Being humble gets you nowhere. Being humble gets you stepped on, gets you overlooked, gets you underpaid. Stop being humble. What are we being humble for? What do we need to be humble for? If I've worked my way, if I've worked my way up to six figure earner status, high value man status, do I? I'm not qualifying for you. I don't need. I don't need to qualify for you, woman. Are you fit for me? That's the real question. That's the real question. That's the real question. The women that the women that really want to be with you will show that they want to be with you. They will show you. They will show you through their actions, not through their words. They'll show you through their actions. They'll they'll do the little things. Like they'll pay attention to they'll pay attention to the little things you do and do little things like that. The little things matter. They really matter. Just like the, the side quests, they might not be super like the side quests in the game. They might not be super important right and right now, but later on, oh they'll matter once you get once you need that little small amount of XP boost to go up another level. Them side missions matter. Like them little side, them little small things you think are trivial, they matter. They matter to men. They matter. Definitely. The little small things we see them. When, when, when Shorty's doing the small things, okay, bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Come here. Come here. Come here. You're on the team. You made you made the team. Like, well, I'm taking you serious right now. Come on. I'm telling you. You get to a point. And women. Will do whatever they women will do whatever to be with you if they really want to be with you. Stop settling. Stop settling, men. Stop settling. Stop settling for if a woman don't want you and you still trying to get with her, you're settling. A woman who wants you will make it easy for you. If she's playing hard to get, leave her alone. She just wants attention. If she's playing hard to get, leave her alone. Don't entertain that. We don't do that hard to get BS over here. Get out of here with that. No, I'm not gonna play hard to get. I'm not gonna play a cat and mouse game with you. I'm not giving. I'm not just gonna give you attention. You just feed off and not do anything with me. You play hard to get. I'm just going to leave. Simple. I'm just gonna leave. Why? Why am I? Why am I gonna compete for your attention when it's a woman that actually wants me? That I don't have to compete. She actually wants me. I can really just do be myself and she wants me for me. I'm telling you, stop being humble, men. Stop being humble. 
You can have standards. You can have standards of women. You can have standards. Yes, you can. These women, these women got a laundry list of standards already. You gotta be six foot. You gotta make six figures. You gotta have 87 inches of, of, of you know what. He got to do it. He got to do He had to know all these different positions. He got to be strong. He got to be a protector. He got to be a provider. He got to be this. He got to be that. But as soon as you ask a woman, can you cook a meal? Oh, my God. No. Stop objectifying me. I'm telling you. The traditional, the traditional way worked because those women wanted to be with those men. That's why it worked. Because the women wanted to be with the men. That's why they did all that stuff. Because they wanted to be with them. Now it's just like, these simps make it so hard because these simps give these women attention when the women don't want them and now they feel entitled. Now they feel entitled. to where they, they, think like, they feel like they deserve the highest level of men with no effort on their part. Oh, I'm broke, living in my mother's basement. I drive a 99 Toyota Camry, but I want a six-figure man. Do you hear the words coming out of your mouth, woman? I feel like I deserve a six-figure man. Are you serious? You got my voice, you got me, you got me, you got me get my voice all high and whatnot. That's how you know, bro. Man, stop being humble. Please, stop being humble, bro. Being humble gets you nowhere as a man. Pop your stuff. Be, be outward. Not overly, not over, not, not extreme. But let people know, bro. Stop being so humble, bro. Humble don't get you nowhere, bro. Be cocky, be arrogant. These women like cocky men. They like cocky men. They, they, they lie and tell you all day. Oh, he's so humble. No. 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 Pop your stuff, bro. Let 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 people know. Be stop being humble, bro. Please stop being humble. It's not gonna get you nowhere. Stop. Cause these women certainly are not humble. So you definitely don't need to be humble. That's all that's all I got for you, bro. Thank you though. Uh leave a like if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you to everyone who watches my channel. Hit that share button as well. Turn on my post notice because I do post every day. So, you know what I'm saying? Stay, stay up to date. But anyways, I'm out. Peace.